Welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Josh Carney. One more sleep in Pittsburgh Steelers regular season football is upon us. Hard to believe the offseason went by that quickly, as did training camp and the preseason, leading to the games that matter, which realistically is all we've been waiting for since that painful AFC wildcard loss to the Chiefs in January. On Sunday, much of the attention will be paid to Mitch Trubisky under center, the new offensive line, and some key pieces in the Steelers' revamped front seven defensively. No doubt, the pass rush will be the key against Joe Burrow and the Bengals. That said, there's one key matchup I'll have my eyes glued to on Sunday, once the ball kicks off at 1 p.m. inside Paycor Stadium. That being the matchup of the reigning Defensive Player of the Year in T.J. Watt going against the Bengals' shiny new toy up front in right tackle, Lael Collins. The Bengals signed Collins in free agency to a three-year deal, reuniting him with Burrow as the two were former college teammates at LSU. Now, Collins is in charge of keeping Burrow upright in Cincinnati, which Burrow hasn't been used to through two seasons. Honestly, I think the signing of Collins has a lot to do with the fact that T.J. Watt plays on the right side and will get after Burrow twice a season for the next five to seven years. Last season, Watt missed the first game against the Bengals in Week 3, that being a 24-10 loss at then Heinz Field. Then, he was negated in the Week 12 blowout loss on the road, that being a 41-10 win for the Bengals. Still, five times last season out of just 15 games played, Watt recorded an 80 grade or higher in the pass rush department from Pro Football Focus, of course on his way to the record-tying 22.5 sacks in the Defensive Player of the Year award that he claimed last season. Watt is a game wrecker, and the Bengals know it. Painfully, they know it. After years of watching Bobby Hart and then Riley Reif mostly fail to keep Watt away from Burrow, in steps Collins. The last two seasons in Dallas, that being 2019 and 2021, as Collins sat out the 2020 season due to COVID restrictions. He found his footing in pass protection, recording grades of 75 and 76 in those two seasons. Last season with Dallas, he had three games recording a grade 80 or higher in pass protection. He's found his footing, but on Sunday he's going to have to deal with TJ Watt for the first time. It'll be a huge test for the new Bengals offensive lineman, and Watt has some unfinished business against Burrow and the Bengals, especially considering how that Week 12 game went. It'll be the matchup within the matchup, and could go a long way towards determining Sunday's outcome in the season opener. My money's on Watt making at least one game-changing play, like he always does, and welcoming Collins into the AFC North. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And make sure to check out The Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazora and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.